Here is command line tip of the day. Did you know you can run multiple commands at once? You can chain multiple commands in one of two ways. You can either separate them by semicolon or by an end, percent percent, which, which stands for end. So command one, semicolon, command two, semicolon, command three, or percent. But what's the difference, right? There's a major difference between the two. The difference is with, if you do it this way, it's going to run every single command, whether the command before it is successful or not. So if command one fails, it's still going to go and execute command two anyways. But with this one, if you're using the end, the double percent, if command one fails, then it's not going to run the second command. It's just going to quit. Okay. Let's take a look at an example. Let's say I want to delete a folder, remove foobar that doesn't exist and semicolon echo success. If I hit enter, as you can see, the remove foobar failed. No such file directory. That was a failed command, but the success was printed anyways. Let's do the same thing, but with the percent foobar percent percent echo success it enter the first command run it failed so it did not run the second command right this is a very basic example no big deals who cares if the second one run or not but usually you would have really meaningful commands chained you run the first command that will generate some kind of data and then you run the second command that relies on the first the output of the first one right so you definitely don't want to run the second one. So in that case, you wouldn't use the semicolon, you would use the percent. Most of the time you want to use the percent. If you're chaining commands, usually you do care if the first one fail or not, right? So that is tip of the day. And that is how you're going to run multiple commands at once.